And our coverage of the ladies' short program continues with the queen, Queen Una Kim, the defending Olympic champion from Vancouver. She represents South Korea and is the number one celebrity in that country and one of the richest female athletes in the world, though she's always giving of her time and her money. After Vancouver, she took off from competition for a year and a half, returning in late 2012, but then won the world championship in 2013. A right foot injury kept her from competing on the Grand Prix circuit this season, and she has competed in only five international events since Vancouver. Many of skaters, of course, do that in one season. Well, and that's why she's skating so early in this draw, because she doesn't have the world ranking. Even though she's the world champion, she doesn't have the world ranking. And being on this warm-up earlier with lesser skilled skaters, she really struggled to get her jumping passes in. It was a rough warm-up. You could see frustration on her face, which is unusual in itself, as Yuna Kim tries to become the first lady to win back-to-back -back Olympic golds since Katarina Witt did it in 84 and 88. And only Sonia Henney has done it as well. The short program is so different than what we've seen her do in the past. It's intimate, moving, very emotional. She uses every note of music. This is the combination she was struggling to get into, into warm up. Triple Lutz, into triple toe. Landed. She skates with so much speed across the ice. Competition of the season. And after struggling through that warm up that we watched, this is a completely different woman. She may be one of the greatest competitors I've ever witnessed. in this building understands how difficult that performance was for her. They watched her warm up, they watched her struggle, and then for her to step out there and be flawless is simply outstanding. And that is why she is the queen. Yuna Kim of South Korea. Well, the audience was totally invested in that program. It was so delicately organized. It was so beautifully presented. The only interruptions were the jumps. <laughs> and she did those beautifully. But they were perfect. 
So a couple of big question marks, not much competition, and then the warm-up. She erased all those question marks in a hurry. <laughs> she looks relieved. Well, she looked so uncomfortable in the warm-up and agitated and anxious, and yet her opening triple combination flew across the <laughs> ice, both jumps, oh. equal size. It's just, she struggled, and now watch this lift. It's just perfect. Her feet are right side by side. The rotation is absolutely incredible. And then she'll reach back on this triple toe. You can see the edge is flowing to give her enough speed for the second jump, and it is textbook. Well, a great competitor knows where, where to go inside their minds, inside their hearts, and that's what she is, another perfect triple flip. Just all the speed and all the flow and everything that she has coming in and out of all these elements and the, and the emotion of it. It you was could, passionate. Well, I mean, you could hear a pin drop in this place. She totally owned the audience and she owned that performance. To be such a fierce competitor and yet perform with such tenderness. And delicacy. And delicacy. Exquisite. May I have the scores, please? Here come the scores. The short program score for Yuna Kim of the Republic of Korea. 74.92. 74.92 to put her in first place. She still has the record score that she set in Vancouver, 78.50. But 74.92, despite all the difficulties, all the question marks, she comes through once again.